Hey guys, it's Linda here. And um, I'm just going to give you my perspective on what I think is going on. You see, I don't have a, a belief in a certain um, thing because right now um, I have to experience, as, as, experience things as knowledge before I can believe in it. Um, I actually think there's a lot of distractions going on. Um, and this is why I would say this. We've been living under the rule of man. You can go back and look at history and how the empires have controlled everything. I think everything is put up there for you to believe in. You know, someone will believe in it and take the bite. But really, we're in the rule of man not the rule of the Creator, or a natural rule. Because your instructions are written in your heart. You know how to behave. You don't need a leader. You don't need to be a follower. And that includes you don't need to follow me. I just put up a different perspective. I can't control anything that's happening in outer space. I do not have that knowledge. So, I don't actually worry about it. I have always been prepared for emergencies. That is experience. <laughs> so, because I have experienced that, that is a knowledge I know of. Um, I lived very poor when I was young. I'm still very poor. And still managed to somehow be prepared. I'm also prepared in my heart. And I know how to live with nature. It's a natural balance between being human or human beings in the natural world. Um, I do not look for divine intervention because I've experienced divine intervention here walking in the natural world. I do not need to look to the heavens to see if something's going to fall upon me because there's nothing I can do about it if it does. There is absolutely nothing I can do. It is a distraction. It reminds me of casinos. Come here and look at the bells ringing and the lights flashing. It is starting to become a distraction. I don't care what the government does. That is mind control. Along with all their belief systems. They put several in place if you go back and look. They have enslaved humanity. And they have taken us away from what our creator gave us. Which is a perfect world. We actually live in a perfect natural world if we could follow those rules. There's instructions in your heart. You love your brother. Love your brother as yourself. Love your sister as yourself. Love humanity. And humanity will return that love. But man's rule does not want you to do that. Man's rule wants you divided. That divide and conquer thing has always been there. I don't care what anybody believes. I just want everybody to kind of set aside differences and allow others to show what they believe or maybe different perspectives. Maybe we could all sit down in a circle, smoke the peace pipe, and find a way to save humanity. At this rate, I think it's doomed. Because no one's uniting. I see people going off in little circles. And and do you really know what's going to happen? Do you? Because if you do, you know, I, that's, that's strange. Because I know I'm connected to the earth. I, I do things to be connected to the earth. I'm a very spiritual person. Um, and that's my experience. My experience has led to knowledge. There are some things I don't know, and I can't believe someone else unless I experience it and have not experienced it yet. So when that day comes for me to experience it, I will accept it. That is what's written in my heart. I'm not trying to tell someone how to believe or how to live because I think you need to experience that for yourself. I'm just saying, don't divide humanity. Let us all unite because the Creator put us all here. And like I said, we are under the rule of empires. 
And until the empires fall, there will always be division, there will always be wars, and there will always be chaos. And little trinkets and shiny casinos to distract you. Little bells and buttons and stuff. That's what we used to call them. Don't get distracted on your path in this journey in life. Follow what is written in your heart. Don't believe anything in ignorance. Experience it first. When, once you have experienced it, it is yours. It is just yours. There's nothing you can do but follow your experiences. They will guide you in the right way. But put no fear in anything. The Creator put us here for a reason. And it wasn't to sit idle. I don't think the Creator would be happy the way the division has played out amongst the empires. And I think the instructions in our heart is to unite. It doesn't matter your skin or your religion. Um, the skin color, religion. We can all sit down and set differences aside. But we've never had that opportunity. And that's all I'm asking for. is an opportunity for us all to discuss things. Can you feel the earth? Can you go outside and walk barefooted and feel some of the stuff? Can you feel it or have you been totally disconnected from what the earth can even tell you? Like I said, the creator created us. Not with faults and dif differences. Man put that in, in our head, not our heart. So we've got to start loving one another. Guys, don't look up to the heavens and wonder what's coming this way. You can't do nothing. Look around and try to help humanity right now. Because what if something was to strike Earth? If it does, and some people survive, well, you've got to learn how to deal with those people and help them. And what if it's just a nice show in the sky? Then we all get to see the nice show. Um, so no one knows for sure. It hasn't been experienced yet. And I do love you all. I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm just saying, can we all relax a little bit and start talking to one another and trying to unite so we can help humanity, human beings, just like we all are the same. We all are, I am another you, and Lakesh, we are all the same, um, deep down in our heart. Now, the empires will tell you different. Don't listen to them. Please, don't believe too much of what the empires say. Listen to your heart. Let it guide you. This place we live on, this earth, was created for us. The creator did it. You know that. I haven't been hijacked by another race, an alien race. I can tell you that. My ancestors could read the earth better than anybody. They didn't destroy North America. They actually had a perfect ecosystem until it was colonized. So please, look within your heart. You'll know what to do. And I love you all. Peace, love, truth. And Linda's out.